Hi Daryl. Uh, finally got around to tackling this little uh, test here and pretty excited about how it turned out. Um, you inspired me and I uh, grabbed my little credit card and came up with this. This is the servo motor set at 38 maximum speed on an SM600 and here's the uh, what we have. Nice cushy bottom end. Very, very controllable. All the way through the range. And as a uh, bonus here, you can see that we're getting the full range of RPM. Um, in fact, I just did a little change of the uh, light blocker, just moved a little bit. It was reaching 4100. So I must have it moved a little or something, I guess. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the... Uh, the new angle. Um, I'll pull the blade off and you can see it. I'm going to send you all these details. Um, instead of sloping down this way, it's pretty much straight across. And I think I shortened the tip just a little bit um, when I pull this off. Okay. There's the blade. And initially I tried your angle and I thought, you know what, let's uh, experiment with the card and ended up going back to this and this here has worked out very well. So you can see, and I've got multiple versions of it, uh, it's very critical. I mean, if you take off a 64th of an inch, you've really, okay, got to start over again. <clears throat> but I'll send you the details to this, and we can talk on the phone and uh, see where you want to go. If you can get, well, I'll talk to you on the phone about it. Okay. Talk to you. Hi, Daryl. Me again. This is an example of uh, the current state. Uh, I thought I was doing really good, but I need to work on that bottom end a little yet because it's just a little bit too twitchy. Um, here's an example. I mean, you can start really slow, but if you just touch the pedal, and I mean, I'm barely moving my foot. That's too twitchy. So I'm gonna pull her out again and work on the bottom end. Real nice mid-range. The mid-range is awesome. But the bottom goes from uh, 3 to 6 and 8 too fast. Back to the drum. Hey Daryl, I think I got it. I uh, did a little, just a teeny bit of tweaking and here's what we have now. There's no twitch at that bottom end. You can start out slow. And you can gradually increase. This is uh, looking really good. Because before I was limited on the uh, top end, you know, that original mod just didn't work for top end, but this has got full top end. I mean, we can go wide open. That's showing 41 on the servo motor. It's set at 38. Um, <clears throat> pretty impressive. And the um, 
speed limiting works also. It doesn't correspond to the number. Let's just do for an example. Uh, we're set at 38 now. I'll bring it down to uh, 20. And now we'll give it a go. It stops at 23 which is closer than it used to be. Let's go down to let's go down to 10. Well, it's actually tracking closer now than it ever has been. Sometimes it's been off by like five or six points, but uh, this is looking good. And with the paper gradient, I didn't have, it, it just, well, it maxed out at 20 for number one, between 18 and 20, and never got the top end. And the numbers seem to be spread more on, uh, I don't know what I just set that at. Six, now we're at six. Well, that's pretty darn good. I mean, it's capped at seven. So this is really another bonus of this versus the, uh, the gradient method. Um, we're able to utilize the, uh, the RPM limiter and it seems to be working really well. I'm really happy. So hopefully you guys will be happy too. I'll get this information to you ASAP. Talk to you later.